thing that I happened to, <laughs> I was looking through some pictures on my old phone the other day and I came across this fun gift card holder idea. So I'm going to use the Celebrate Everything paper to make this project along with, uh, we have these uh, whisper, whisper, they're actually basic white now, but white memories and more cards and envelopes. And that's basically all they are is white cards and then matching envelopes. So you have cards that will fold up to be uh, three by four and you have cards that will fold up to be four by six and then you have coordinating envelopes, okay? So I'm actually gonna use two of these smaller envelopes for this project. And you could use like our note cards and envelopes. They're a little bit bigger than these. Those would work too. Okay, and I have all my pieces and parts and stuff cut here. So I've got a couple gift cards. I've got some detail pieces here. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to attach these envelopes together. Okay, so I'm gonna add this envelope flap to the back of this envelope. So I'm gonna add some adhesive here at the fold line. And then I'm gonna add adhesive up around. And I could lick that, but I do want the adhesive to go all the way around. And of course the licking doesn't go all the way around. So, all right, so I am gonna attach these two things together. Okay, like that. And so then basically what you have is you have this little folded up gem that you now have two pockets for gift cards. So then this is kind of like the front where we have that glued envelope down. So I am gonna glue a piece of designer series paper to the front of my thing. So here's basically how it goes. So you have the flap down here, but when you bring it around, that's the top. Okay, so this piece is a three and a half by four and a half piece of designer series paper. And we are gonna just have adhesive go all the way around because we do want it to seal the whole thing. Get a little bit on the inside. Okay, so this is another way to get rid of some of that designer series paper that we're all hoarding. Okay, so. Now we're back to the back side of it. And I have two more pieces of the same designer series paper and you can decide which one you want to be on the front and which one you want to be on the back. It doesn't make any difference. But I happen to have this little gift card. This is a gift card somebody gave me last year from Starbucks. I have no idea if they still have this gift card or not, but I'm sure they have others that are fantastic. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive to this gift card. You could use a glue dot too. And I'm just gonna add it to this piece of designer series paper, and then I'm gonna tuck it in here so that they can get it out. And then I have this one here, same thing. This is an Amazon card, it's used. I always have to make sure I write used on them or I can't remember. And then I will slide that one in. So now we have two gift cards in here, or you could put money, or you could use one to have, if you didn't wanna give two gift cards, this one could just be a piece of paper that had a nice message on it, okay? So then we're going to fold this up. And again, if you wanna stamp something here, you absolutely can. I'm trying to make this quickly. Um, so if it's last minute gift, you could make it quickly. Then we're gonna wrap it up with a belly band. This is a one and a half by eight and a half inch piece of that same designer series paper. And I'm going to fold it to the front, okay? And then I'm gonna fold it. And then when I bring this one up, I'm not gonna have it be super tight because I do want this belly band to come, to kind of slide off, you know, fairly easily. I don't want it to be stuck on there uh, so tightly that you can't get the gift cards out, okay? So you just wrap that around and then bring that. So this is the front, but now we're gonna hide the seam with some with a label okay so this is just two circle die cuts out of the layering circles dies uh this one is probably the fourth largest circle straight circle and then this one is la, 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 
number six. So actually this is probably number six also. So it goes, I, I numbered them smallest from the inside. So this was one, this is probably five or six. And then this one is number six. This is probably five. I think five and six go together. Okay, so we've done that. So now I'm just gonna quickly decorate this little label here and then we're done. Oh my gosh, Cynthia just gave me a tip. Cynthia, you're so nice. Thank you so much. And that's one of my favorite little people, Lipster Lemon Guy there. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Okay, so I have two different stamp sets only because it had a couple things and I wanted it. I'm using the Framed and Festive. This is almost gone as far as I'm as far as I know. It's only available to the end of the catalog period, which is like January 4th. Anyway, it says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. It's the perfect size for this size of circle. So that's why I chose it. I'm sure that you have plenty of stamps that will work. And I am going to use polished pink because polished pink is one of the colors in this paper. And so I am just going to stamp this on here. Oh my gosh, I see another one. Oh my gosh, Wendy, thank you so much. Wendy also just gave me a tip. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I have that. I need a scratch paper. All right, so then I just wanted to add a little bit of detail to this. So I pulled out one of the little tree stamps from the Peaceful Deer and I pulled out the snowflakes. So I'm gonna stamp some trees in some Granny Apple Green and some snowflakes in some uh, pool party. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna do for the most part. I might put some embellishments on here. I don't know, we might not need embellishments. We might just leave it. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I'm purposely trying to get this little snowflake here because it's really cute. And then this little snowflake right there. Okay, and then these trees. Is this the tree I want? No, this is the tree. This is like the trio, the trio of trees. And I'm gonna stamp it kind of in the middle and then maybe off to either side. So just barely, just to add a little color to the label and kind of pick up some of the colors that I have in the paper, just for a little bit of fun. This might end up being something that my daughter gets <laughs> with some gift cards in it. <laughs> we'll see. And then we can go ahead and maybe use some dimensionals for this part. Okay, take those off. Add our little label here. There. And if you want, you can add some gems. I found these adhesive backed seasonal sequins and I wasn't sure if those would match. The green ones kind of do. Let's go with some green, why not? I feel like those are supposed to be shaded spruce, so let's just throw them on. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing. Oh, no, wait. We're gonna actually put these on the belly band, um, I think, because if we don't, uh, then when we try to take the belly band off, then the gems will slide off with the belly band. So tip, pro tip. Okay, look at that. Belly band slides off, you flip it over, you open it up and voila, you have some fun inside there. And again, if you wanted to, you could stamp stuff in there. You could stamp this or you can stamp none of it if you need a quick gift for somebody. All right, there it is, done. That literally did not take that much time. So yay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And you could probably use big envelopes too. I just happen to have these smaller ones and I just kind of thought they were fun, a fun size to use rather than a big envelope. So that's why I grabbed those. But a big envelope would work just fine. You just have to adjust the measurements, obviously.